solved problems relating to the ballistic pendulum. A bullet of mass 10 grams is fired at close range into a block of mass 9.99 kilograms suspended from a rigid support by an inelastic string and it becomes embedded in the block. The block rises through a height of 2 centimeters before it momentarily comes to rest. Calculate the initial speed of the bullet. Again, we'll summarize this question with a diagram. So our diagram looks more like this. We're having a string that is tied on a rigid support. Of course, it is we are having right here a, a, a mass, or a block. So we are having a bullet right there. It is fired into this block and it causes this block to rise up to that level. And uh, the height through which it rises to that level, the question says that it's going to raise 2 centimeters. So now we are being told that the bullet has a mass of 10 grams. So it means that this thing has 10 grams and it is fired at close range into a block of mass that. So the mass of this thing is 9.99 kilograms. It is suspended on a rigid support by an inelastic string and it becomes embedded in the block. The block raises through a height of 2 centimeters before it momentarily comes to rest to calculate the initial speed of the bullet. So of course when this bullet was coming it had an initial speed u, b and that is what we are required to find the initial speed of the bullet. So now of course for us to find the initial speed of the bullet we can quote the formula we used in our previous session. From our previous session we say that the initial speed of the bullet can be given by this expression. So we can go ahead and substitute this directly. So let's try and use this and see. Uh, a bullet, uh, the, the initial speed in this case is going to become, this is going to become mass of the bullet which is 10 grams. Now these are 10 grams, we convert them to kilograms so it becomes 10 over 1000. We divide by 1000 because we are converting from grams to kilograms add that to the mass of the solid block in this case the solid block is 9.99 kilograms divide that by the mass of the bullet which is still 10 divide that by a thousand kilograms multiply that by uh, under the square root of 2 times acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 Multiply that by the height through which it rises. It rises through 2 centimeters. Now we convert those 10 centimeters to meters. It becomes multiply that by 2, divide that by 100. And of course, the final answer we get there is 6 to 6.4 uh, uh, meters per second. That is the initial velocity of the bullet. Let's do it the long way. If I'm to do this question from first principles, again, I'm going to use the two principles here. Conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. So conservation of momentum, I'm going to consider it on these two. That the momentum bef <coughs> before these two collide is the same as the momentum after they collide. Now, of course, here we have 10 grams as the mass of the bullet. 10 grams, convert that to kilograms since the mass of the block is kilograms. So this is going to become 10 over 1000. So it becomes 0 0.01 kilograms. So 0 0.01 kilograms is the mass of the bullet we shall be using. Then the height through which it rises is 2 centimeters. Convert that to meters by dividing by 100. This becomes 0 0.02 meters. So that's the height through which that raises right there. So we begin. So it, uh, the, the momentum, uh, momentum before collision is going to be equal to the momentum after. So using the conservation of momentum, so from conservation of momentum we know that the mass, bef the momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision. So before collision, we have the mass of the bullet before collision times the velocity of that bullet before collision plus the mass of this solid before collision plus uh, times the velocity of the solid, of the block before collision is going to be giving us when those two collide, they have an inelastic collision. So it means it's going to be uh, the mass of the bullet plus the max of the solid times the final velocity with which they, co they move after, colli after colliding. 
So the mass of the bullet in this case, 10 grams, which is going to be 0 0.01 kilogram. Multiply that by the initial velocity of the bullet, which you're looking for. Uh, that is going to be plus. Of course, this block is at rest, so it means that the initial velocity of this solid block is 0. If it is 0, it means this whole term is 0, so it's plus 0. It's going to give us uh, mass of the, of the bullet, which is 0 0.01 kilograms, 0 0.01 plus the mass of the solid block which is 9.99 .9 kilograms multiply that by the final velocity v of this thing which final velocity has not been given let's call that v so this is going to become 0 0.01 times ub is giving us this plus that gives us 10 v so when we make the ub the subject of the formula the velocity of the bullet is given by 10 v of divide that by 0 point zero one where v so happens to be the final velocity of these two bodies after they have collided so that's our first expression let's call it expression one when we got that using uh, the law of conservation of momentum so we are going to get our other expression using the conservation of energy after these two have have locked after these two have collided so from conservation of energy we know that the kinetic energy after these two have collided and they are moving up there the kinetic energy after collision is the same as the potential energy so it means the kinetic energy is given by a half times the mass of these two so meaning it's a half times mass of the block of the bullet plus mass of the solid block times v squared which is a half m v squared the, 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 the mass of the two since they are interlocked together is given by the potential energy given by mass times uh, of course mass of the two because it's the same body as it's moving up they are, it's a composite body so mass of the bullet plus mass of the solid block times gravity times height so definitely this is going to you find that this and that these two will disappear because they are the same so you remain with a half times v squared is giving us g times h so what is our v squared the velocity with which this thing moves up the velocity is not given in the question so it becomes a half uh, v squared is giving us g which is 9.81 multiply that by the height the height with which this thing moves raises up is 0 0.02 meters from our question so this is times 0 0.02 meters so it means that our value of v here becomes uh, under the square root of uh, 2 multiply that by 9.81 multiply that by 0, 0.0 2 and that's our value of v and this is our second expression if you look at our first expression you find that uh, we do not have v here so the value of v is this expression so we get our value of v put it right there and we're able to get the velocity the initial velocity of the bullet so that is exactly what we do we get our first expression which is the initial velocity of the bullet is given by 10 v over 0 0.01 this is going to become 10 multiply that by the final velocity v now the final velocity v is given in our second expression right here as under the square root of 2 multiply that by 9.81 multiply that by 0 0.02 divide that by 0 0.01 and from that expression we're able to get our final answer which is uh 626.4 this is meters per second and this is the initial velocity of that bullet a bullet of mass 20 grams is fired horizontally with a speed of 200 meters per second into a 2 kilogram block of wood that is suspended by a string 1 meter long the bullet is embedded in the block calculate the maximum inclination of the string to the vertical we we'll summarize the question with a diagram so here we are speaking of a bullet uh, which is 20 grams this is the bullet we are talking about right there it is 20 grams so if it's 20 grams converting that to kilograms uh, definitely this is over a thousand 
which is 0 0.02 kilograms. So this bullet is fired into a block, uh, definitely a bullet of mass 20 grams, which is 0 0.02 kilograms, is fired horizontally with a speed of that. So meaning that this is the mass of the bullet so the speed with which this bullet is moving it is moving at this the speed of the bullet is 200 meters per second so this uh, it is fired into a 2 kilogram block of wood so this block of wood so meaning that the mass of the solid the, the mass of the block of wood is 2 kilograms and it is suspended by a string whose length the length of this string here is one meter long the bullet is embedded into the block so when it is hit it's embedded in the block so calculate the maximum inclination of the string so the, definitely it is going to raise up to a certain level there and there's a certain angle theta with which it is going to 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 expand so the question requires us to calculate the maximum inclination of the string to the vertical after it has risen to that point so we need to find the value of theta. So just like so just like before we are going to begin with conservation of momentum, we know that from conservation of momentum, the momentum before these two collide, which means mass of the bullet times the initial velocity of the bullet plus mass of the solid block times the initial velocity of the solid block is going to give us the total mass of these two when they collide, that is mass of the bullet plus mass of the solid block multiply that by the final velocity with which they move so the mass of the bullet here is 0 0.02 multiply that by the initial velocity of the bullet which is 200 plus the momentum of this block this initial velocity of the solid block is 0 so this whole thing is 0 so plus 0 is going to give us the total mass when they come together which is the mass of the bullet which is 0 0.02 plus 2 kilograms multiply that by the final velocity v and uh, we end up with our final velocity v in this case being equal to 1.98 meters per second so 1.98 is the velocity with which this composite body moves after the two have collided so after finding the value of v remember the question requires us to find the value of theta so we go ahead and use still from our previous sessions we derived something the final velocity v is given by 2 g h and we said that this v is can be given as uh, 2 times gravity multiply that by h h is given by l minus l times the cosine of theta we did this in our previous session so in this case we make theta the subject of the formula and when we make theta the subject of the formula in this sense we have gotten the angle of inclination theta that we need so our remaining work is simply to just substitute so this is going to become our v is 1.98 is given by under the square root of 2 multiply that by the gravity which is 9.81 multiply that by L which is the length of the string which is 1 meter 1 minus 1 times the cosine of theta so making theta the subject of the formula here becomes This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.